Yep. Yep. Here we are. The talk of the town. You know, I let a lot of people get their opinions off. I wanted to be reserved, laid back so I can give a unbiased opinion as much as possible. So here we are, the talk of the town. Uh-oh. How's it going to go? Stay tuned. What is up YouTube, it is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, we got Unison. Am I even allowed to say that as a content creator without getting backlash? We got Unison Drum Monkey, okay? Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the name, me being African American, I don't really like the name, but it is what it is, Drum Monkey. And um, a lot of people know, is it a scam? Is it not a scam? what is it drum monkey is currently closed now people want to know about the scam and how it works so that's what we're going to dive in today but before we go any further make sure you hit that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell so you can get any video upload to the channel we do reviews such as this i give away uh drum kits and midi loops loop kits audio and uh, we just go live and have fun and we talk and I like doing these reviews because I buy it or I get it and I can show you before you spend your money on it so I love that so anyways here it is we're gonna get into it um, one thing people keep saying a scam a scam is something you don't have to buy this or you don't have to you know talk about this so it's not a scam in that but I will say that um, once I signed up for this and I got some emails, I was told that MIDI Wizard was available again. So I thought it was only a certain amount of copies and then it was closed. So that could be scamish, but if you feel like this is a scam or you don't want to buy it, you don't have to buy it. Is the price a lot? Yeah, the price is a lot. But Gucci is a lot. Louis Vuitton is a lot. And we don't call them scammers. So you have to watch the words we use. You don't want defamation of character or anything like that. But, um, you know, other than that, let's get into it. So I got it. I'm going to go through some of the features, the initial features, and then I'm going to show you how I will use it and my opinion in the end. Right. So let's get into it. So it opens up. Um, it syncs right now. I'm going to put it at like 145 or 144 on my tempo. And right here is where you can save. If you see a drum pattern that you like and you don't want to keep on pushing the button because you're afraid you might lose it then you can save it here and rename it so that's cool off the bat okay so we got about 25 to 30 different character categories and even a mystery category right here so we're going to go with some of those as well when we get started four bars or eight bars which is dope and if you do like one of the patterns that you saw earlier you can go back in and you can get to it okay now when it first starts off it's empty it has about eight slots for drums which is pretty cool kick snare your perks open our hats close high hats any other sounds like that your second swag snare clap all of that can go into it okay press play you got a little swing 1 16th and also 1 18th when you drag and drop your midi you get to choose between MIDI combined and MIDI stems, which is great. Okay, I'm not going to lie, that's great. Also, audio combined and audio stems. So they give you a chance and you can download that and drag it over. So, let's have some fun with it. Let's see. Oh, he did a spin move. He did the Earl of the Pearl spin move. So right now we're in house and deep house. Now I'm not, the you know, an expert in this, so we're just going to see how it sounds. Okay, that is what it is right there. I don't know if that would sound good or not, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm going to make sure this is on a four bar loop so we can get the full, full treatment of it. All right, so let's go into something I am familiar with RB, perhaps. We can go to four bars, hit that, and it comes with its own sounds right here you can kick on that you can change the kick you can change whether you want to be a snare off snare clap snap rim close our head open our head shaker ride tom perk that's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie you can also i'm gonna open up my own drums let's go to like a, a kbz kit 
something like that. And just if I wanted to put that kick in there, I can get that in there. All right, so let's see how this sounds. Okay, that's how it would sound. Let's get some sauce on that mug and go back. This is the new R&B sound that they gave us. I don't know about that. And I do like that you can lock in the sound that you want, and then you can just go ahead and individually randomize the clap if you don't like it. All right. Or you can take away the rim or the hi-hat. I do like that about it, okay? So let's go to the next one. Um, UK Drill. Come on. Oh, he just threw. He just tossed it like an alley -oop. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's go into some soul. Now that would be kind of, you know, we want to go into like the 85, 86 for the soul. Okay, I'm going to take the kickoff lock. And then I'm going to go into some pop or future pop. Ooh, spin move again. So it looks like it gets a pretty good job of getting to the genre that you're picking. Okay, and I do like that you can go in here and you can go ahead and do your own, just like a piano roll. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You can go in and you can really, you know, change that up. I do like that, okay? The next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to just start from scratch, okay? So... We're going not we're not saving anything. We're just gonna close it out, take that off, and let's go on the scalar. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go on the scalar and see a category. So we'll go to gospel, pick some gospel chords, Okay, so we got some gospel chords. I'm going to drag that over. I'm going to open up um, Drum Monkey again. Go to gospel, and of course, bam. Now, here's where it gets tricky. You got to make a decision. Do you want audio or MIDI? I just want audio for right now. And I'm going to drag everything over here. So you hit that. I want the stems, I want everything. All right, then you just drop it on in anywhere and move it around, okay? And then I'm gonna go back to my pattern and drop that in. So let's see how that sounds. Make sure, all right, that you turn off of this sound over here. So it's kind of not really gospel-ish, kind of sounds kind of future pop-ish, but I'm not mad at the sound that I'm getting out of it, okay? And then let's go to some hip-hop or some neo-soul. And drag that on over. And then let's go back to Drum Monkey and we can get some neo-soul right there that's fire that it comes out like that ok 
Okay. Okay, so now we're back in Scalar 2. And he, I got some trap chords. All right, and, but I want to use a different sound, maybe some Electra X. All right, so we're going to go with that, trap drums. So you get some good quality loot, huh? All right. And once again, you will drag over. And bam, it comes in like that. And of course you can go in and you can just drag in and drop what you see, which is pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Overall, it's not worth $300 to me, but it's not a scam either. You're getting a, a MIDI generator that's just their price. You can't get mad that that's somebody's price. They don't make you buy the, the, the VST. It needs to be maybe $50 to $70, and it, they don't need to sell it as oh once it's over it's over 3500 because that's not the case because once you do purchase it you do get emails that now you can get the midi wizard all of a sudden okay which is right here and if y'all want to see that video let me know if you want this video as well because i have it available but it's not a scam in that so to speak but they are doing a little bit of false advertising once you buy it for the people who bought this for them to just be like oh it's still open we still got copies left after you said it was limited i can see where the problem lies but it's not a scam it works <laughs> it's uh it, it, it it's not like they bought you. you get something that doesn't work it works it works very well the price range just not for everybody and that's cool you know it's there's some contact banks that are expensive there's some omnisphere banks that are expensive but we we pick and choose what we cancel or what we don't like in this day and age and i get it overall for me six or seven with no price involved with the price let's say without the price i would love it because it gives me these different genres and all that so like say like a eight but because that I understand the price point you got to knock it down a point or a point and a half six and a half seven that's what i'm rolling with on this one in the comments below let me know if you want me to make a video with both of them to show the workflow and how fast you can make a beat and is the beat usable it's your boy hollywood floss the worst producer of all time leave those comments leave those comments hit the like and subscribe button so we can keep on growing the channel yeah drum monkey um six and a half seven because of the price but without the price it's a it's a smooth eight i can see beginners using it i can see people who are been doing it a long time getting some quick ideas just by doing that and getting an idea out the way let me know in the comments below what you think like i said follow me on twitter hw floss follow me on instagram hw floss and join the patreon patreon.com forward slash hollywood floss one peace